pleasure for us to be able to present the founding charter of SAPAN today. And I just want to mention that as Kavita had said earlier, today across the country, we have been remembering, commemorating the memory of Mahatma Gandhi, who was shot dead on the 30th of January in 1948. And as we went through the charter once again, we both said to each other, this is something that surely Bapu would have approved of totally, because I think these are the dreams that were dearest to his heart. So in that spirit, uh, we are happy to uh, present before you the founding charter of SAPAN, South Asia Peace Action Network. SAPAN is a coalition of individuals and representatives of various organizations joining hands for a minimum common agenda, reclaiming South Asia. And in doing so, we reiterate our commitment to take forward the principles and ideals of peace, of justice, democracy, and human rights articulated by visionaries like Dr. Mubashir Hassan, Nikhil Chakravarti, Azma Jehangir, Nirmala Desh Pandey, Kuldeep Nair, Rajni Kothari, among so many others. A visa-free South Asia or confederation of nations with soft borders, a region in which each nation ensures quality education, justice, and freedom of expression and religion to its own citizens, as well as support and solidarity to those of the other nations. We aim to reclaim South Asia, to quote another old friend of mine, to our mentors and visionaries like late I. Rahman. We therefore support the objectives of SARC, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation to promote the welfare of the peoples of South Asia and to improve their quality of life. To accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development in the region and to provide all individuals the opportunity to live in dignity and to realize their full potential. To promote and strengthen collective self-reliance among the countries of South Asia to contribute to mutual trust, understanding, and appreciation of one another's problems. And to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance in the economic, social, cultural, technical, and scientific fields. To strengthen cooperation with other developing countries. And to strengthen cooperation among themselves in international forums on matters of common interests. And to cooperate with international and regional organizations with similar aims and purposes. The South Asia Peace Action Network, therefore, calls on the government and the people of South Asian nations to work towards instituting soft borders and visa-free South Asia or visa on arrival to allow freedom of trade and travel to each other's citizens. To ensure human rights and dignity for all their citizens, including religious and ethnic minorities, women, children, and other oppressed communities. Cooperate in areas related to public health, culture, and legal reform, education and environment, climate change, water issues, disarmament, and demilitarization, and denuclearization. Thank you. Namaste. Adam. Salam.